<clears throat> hey, everybody. Welcome to the Sport Report. Conrad Negron with Alex Negron for Shield of Dreams Productions, brought to you by Coachella Sports and Entertainment Stadium Authority. Alex, it's November, and it's 90 degrees. What's going on? Well, we're having a cooling trend. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we went out. Uh, we, we got a bunch to, uh, to cover today, but we and we'll show a video. We went out to the National Pickleball Championships out at Indian Wells Tennis Gardens, and we'll show that in a few minutes. But it was hot. You were sweating almost as bad as me. Yeah, no, it was hot, but it was fun walking around there, checking out the pickleball. Very interesting. Well, you know what we what we see as Coachella Sports and Entertainment continues to grow. Uh, that is the epitome of sports tourism. People coming, over 2,500 participants came in from all over the country, never been to Indian Wells Tennis Gardens, which uh, BNP puts the tennis on in March, which is another huge event. But the people were blown away by how beautiful Indian Wells was. Well, you know, I've lived here for 30-something years, and when I walked into that stadium and just saw how clear and the blue sky and the mountains and the tennis garden and the atmosphere, I was going, these people that just came here for the first time are probably going to say, wow, this place is awesome. That's exactly and that right. Was the feedback. And we, we talked got. about that, and we've also got a, a new sponsor for the show, uh, Joyride, and we're going to show a little bit of that. But let's talk about some upcoming events. This Saturday, Bianca Ray Foundation is holding an event at the Palm Valley uh, School. Uh, off of Duval in Rancho Mirage and we're going to be uh, doing a um, it's a retreat for uh, boys the SoCal Coyotes will be there and um, we're going to be doing a, a, an above the line we're going to be there from 8 to 3 so we invite everybody to come out it's for a great cause and then we've also got um, well let's um, let's talk about that a little bit we've got a couple of guys uh, from the Coyotes that are talking about the Bianca Ray uh, foundation Bianca has been very supportive of uh, girls for the last four years, and now they're doing it for the uh, the young boys. Young boys. Uh, everybody, take a look at this. It's pretty cool. Hello, everybody. We're with the SoCal Coyotes. I'm rookie Marquise Dobb. I'm rookie Osmi Fee. I'm rookie Dominic Houghton, and we're excited for the Ray of Hope Foundation Retreat for Boys. Hey guys, we're excited to be part of the Ray of Hope Foundation Retreat for Boys. Come out with us this Saturday, November 10th. We'll be doing football drills and teaching our above the line. No blaming, no complaining, and no excuses. As a lifelong Valley resident, I've seen the good that the Bianca Ray Foundation has done for the desert, and I'm excited to be a part of it. Wasn't that great? Marquise Dobbs and, of course, Dominic Houghton. And we got a, we got a story coming out. I, was, I snuck into the media room uh, a couple of days ago as we talked about on the coaches show yesterday. But an article is coming out about Dominic Houghton, <coughs> our rookie quarterback. And uh, he almost didn't really get his reality to come true because the traffic going to San Diego, I know that you had another engagement and were unable to enjoy the traffic for, for, for those couple hours. The game was at 2 o'clock. I showed up at 5 minutes to 2 in complete panic. Dominic got there when they were about to kick off. Now, that's the starting quarterback. And uh, he's just a great young man. Had a pretty good game for the first time. But the most important thing in his uh, play, he didn't turn the ball over. And as you know, uh, right. turning the ball over is, is it's not, not good. good. For, uh, for winning. Well, if you found if you, that when you lose, you turn the ball over more. And penalties. Well, if you looked at the if you looked at the Dallas Cowboys uh, last night, um, and I like to watch the Dallas Cowboys lose just to make everybody mad, but they turn the ball over a couple times, and you can't do that, and uh, they're struggling. And then, of course, uh, like Coach Miller said, winning on the road is difficult. I e L A Rams Saints. Yeah. Did I mean Drew Drew, Br Drew, Drew Brees, Brees was put on a performance? I mean, did he make any? Did he miss any 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 throws? And then the comeback from the Rams, too. The Rams came back. Great I just, game. Yeah, it was a fantastic game. And again, and we talked about it because we watched it together. I think we were watching the NFC Championship game. I mean, for the sake of argument, I don't know who else is going to come up and, and give the, uh, the Rams or the Saints. Again, winning on the road is difficult. Yep. The Rams put up some good stuff. The NFL's uh, going strong. Teams are starting to separate. But let's talk about... Uh, Saturday, November, I mean, December 1st, excuse me, we're going to finish out the DFI schedule and play the championship game uh, against the San Diego Bulldogs, who we beat 22-18 to 18, uh, two Saturdays ago. That was, that was that great game. That was a great game, was and it was uh, the Bulldogs are doing a great job. Their players are really developing, 
And, uh, you know, we're just trying to build this league as teams grow and uh, things happen. But, again, we've got Commissioner Joel uh, Williams, who's running the, the league like, well, the NFL. NFL rules apply. So when the rules apply, you need to follow the rules. Uh, to quote Joel Williams, um, Lou Holtz was my coach at Notre Dame. I don't think there's really much to be said than that. You're expendable if you don't want to follow the rules. Right. And, you know, the SoCal Coyotes above the line curriculum, skillful, intentional, on purpose, and driven, as opposed to whining, blaming, complaining, and making excuses, we've got a league that's running by um, above the line, and you can go to developmentalfootball.com and click on it. It says the seven principles of above the line, and, and they're there. So... Uh, we'll be talking about that this Saturday. Again, Bianca Ray Foundation Joyride. Uh, I, I was telling Scott Alvarez the other day that we were uh, we we're flying low in, the, in this Coachella Valley. So I want, to, uh, I want everybody to watch um, Joyride because uh, Christopher Cheek will be... They will they will fly over the uh, the palm the uh, the, the tennis garden. Uh, we, we we did that. We'll talk about that also after the little commercial here. But they're at the Palm Valley School off of Duval this Saturday, and they'll be doing a helicopter drop, and they'll be dropping football. So everybody, take a look at this little quick little uh, video we put together. A little bit of a uh, a plug for Joyride Adventures uh, Charters. Charters. Uh, anywhere you want to go in the desert, they'll take yeah. you up to Joshua Tree. Anyone, every, take a look, everybody. All right, sport report out here at Joyride Palm Springs. Christopher Cheek, wow, we just had a great ride of the valley. No problem. <laughs> What's happening? Not much. <laughs> people up to Big Bear so you guys can go big Be up to Big Bear get you there in like 15 minutes zip line for two to three hours have lunch at the peppercorn bring you back back home within 12 minutes another uh, fun adventure is we'll take you out to Lake Paris and you can try your thing at uh, skydiving we land the same same place that uh, Tom Cruise uh, learned how to parachute we'll land you there you do parachuting for the day and <laughs> We've been taking a lot of people up to the winery, land them in the parking lot to Mecla, spend a day at the winery, then we'll come back and pick you up VIP. So our next big adventure uh, that we're working on is a landing pad out at Joshua Tree. So right next to Joshua Tree, about 100 yards away from the gate, we'll land a helicopter for you and your guests. We just bought a brand new Mercedes uh, Sprinter van, holds 12 people. We'll take you for a tour of the park, have lunch maybe at Pappy and Harriet's. Back here, back on the casinos, gambling, shopping, whatever you want to do. We can joyride all over. That was cool, wasn't it? That was so cool. That was so fun. We we uh, we went up on the helicopter, and I've been up a couple times. It was your first time, and um, why don't you tell everybody um, that they don't have bathroom facilities? <laughs> <laughs> they don't have bathrooms, but boy, did I want to go. <laughs> the, the, you know, it's kind of it kind of funny as we're taking off from the runway at Palm Springs Airport. We literally flew across the runway. And I'm looking left, I'm looking right. Please don't be a plane landing or taking off. That was a trip right there, just in the We, we crossed right over, as you saw in the video, the landing uh, United. We, put, we're, we took off from right there. And again, you know, the, the thing is, you're on federal land. You know, Alex said, should I walk across the rocks? And I, I'm going to say, I don't think you should. Mm -hmm. Because they're, they see you. And, you know, the one thing that's really cool, because we have headsets in the helicopter, and you can hear the tower. And Christopher, who's flying, has, you know, they see him, but he tells them what he's going to do. He right. says, I'm going to be at 500 feet all the way down to, from Palm Springs to Indian Wells. And we ran, we, we, we went over um, Larry Ellison's plate. What do they call it? Pickle? Um, uh, Porcupine Pop Creek. Porcupine Creek. And we Big went horn. over... 
used to be Bob Hope's house. Uh, we saw some signs that said this is not Bob Ho- mm-hmm. Hope's house. I don't have those for me. I should have been more prepared. But it was a great experience, and you're, you'll see some of the other shots that we took of, uh, of the helicopter. But it's such a different perspective. There's so much going on in Palm Springs, tennis gardens, uh, baseball, football. Let's talk a little bit of high school football real quick. Um, Palm Desert won. Coachella Valley lost by one point. They were, uh, I'm going to try to get Brett Davis to come in maybe next week. They went for two, and they thought they could make that play. You know, Brent uh, uh, Brett does come out and help the SoCal Coyotes, mm-hmm. and he thought he had the right play, and uh, they just couldn't execute it. Yeah, 113 points in that game. Was it 57 56? 57 56. Yeah, yeah. And that's uh, so, you know, hats off to, to Chafee who came down, and uh, or did we go up there? We went up there. So I guess you got to go for the win. And then um, Xavier, boy, they really picked up their game at the end of the year. Uh, they had lost to um, Shadow Hills, mm-hmm. uh, a game that uh, we called. And um, so good luck to them. We'll, we'll get the schedule. Everybody check uh, Amy Zimmer on uh, NBC Palm Springs for the updates of the locations of the games, which are coming up this week. Which and then we got, we got two. There's two games. And what about the Palm Desert Girls Tennis didn't they have a big run going and they lost? <clears throat> they went the farthest they ever did in uh, playoffs. Uh, unfortunately, they did lose. Um, so they're out, but a great season for the girls' tennis at Palm Desert. And Also, I don't know if you know uh, how often in water polo, Palm Desert water polo, the goalie scored two goals from the goal. Come on. Which is which is unheard of. He must have a great arm. It's it's equivalent to two half to half court shots in the same half. Wow! And they routed uh, the team uh, twenty four to four. So. Well, th- well, that's interesting because we both, you and I, both played water polo in high school, and I mean, I consider myself. You have a really good arm. Uh, the goalie must have drifted or joined an offensive push to have the goal open. That's like a like in hockey, the goalie can score a goal. Right. But that's even got to be tougher. Yeah, but to do it twice. He's got to get his arm up there to throw that ball. You know, I, I, I remember when I was going to go in high school, we went to a four-year high school. And in ninth grade, I said, well, I got to go. I guess I got to play football since I don't know anybody. I was an okay football player. And the, the coach just wasn't very, how oh, we have a team and we're not. And so anyway, so I walked back off the field. It was 90 degrees. And I see the water polo team practicing. I don't know what water polo was. But I stood there and I said, it's hot. I can swim. Let's do it. I went in there and talked to Coach, Coach Lewis, and he tapped me on the shoulder, squeezed my arms. He goes, get your butt out here tomorrow morning. So when I got there in the morning, I found out it was 15 feet deep. <laughs> but you ran off and got your new Speedo, didn't you? I got you? my new Speedo. <laughs> that hurts. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we got my new Speedo. But those were the good times. So water polo, uh, hats off to all the guys, young men that are playing water polo uh, throughout this Coachella Valley. It's... Um, it's exciting. It's a great sport. I mean, I, I pursued baseball, and I had some college requests for water polo, but I was watching Olympics, and the guys were bigger than Jake Sheffield, you know, they're, they're, like playing water polo. Yeah, they're, I was they're all dirty like, under the water also. I they're, mean, they're I'm a pretty good-sized guy. I'm talking about, like, middle linebackers are playing <clears throat> for the Germans and the Yugoslavians and the steroids. I didn't say that. That was the women's German swim team. <laughs> but uh, that's another story. <laughs> Conrad Negron, Alex Negron, the sport report every Tuesday. Coaches show Howl and Prowl from Big Rock Pub. They had a great event. Lisa uh, Lisa Morgan, congratulations on a great show. They had the, what do they call it? Uh, uh, rock Stars and Cars, right? And, um, and barbecue. And barbecue. And they had... T- hundreds and hundreds of cars and the food the drinks the dance the uh the music outdoor stages it's a lot of work to put on a show like that i'd like to thank uh, ken han uh, hannah for i always say han because i know ken han ken hannah for uh supporting the socal coyotes and uh putting on an unbelievable show out uh out in uh Indio at the Indian Springs, which brings me to note on November, December 7th, the second annual Coyote Classic. Al, we played it last year with Mayor Wilson. Uh, it's going to be um, go big or go home. So that'll be at the uh, Big Rock Pub, Indian Springs. That's Friday, December 7th. Get your foursomes together. I think we had about 34 last year. We're trying to break that record. We've got some great dignitaries coming in uh, from all over the country. A couple of Pittsburgh Steelers, former Steelers, 
uh, guys uh, with our team out in uh, Coach Holmes out in Atlanta, Georgia. We invite everybody to check out the SoCal Coyotes um, uh, Facebook page and then check out Coachella Sports and Entertainment Stadium Authority. We're blowing up, Al. We're getting likes. We have people coming in from all over the world. Um, Ghana, who um, we had a, you know, a meeting with in the bishop, and uh, we got just tons of, um, of tons of well outreach toward the SoCal Coyotes and Coachella Sports and Entertainment. Um, take a look at this. Alex and I were out at Pickleball, uh, and uh, we were out there on Saturday. So everybody check it out, and um, don't make fun of Alex because he was sweating because I think I was better than him at that. <laughs> at the Indian Wells Tennis Gardens for the first annual U.S. National Pickleball Championship. It's pretty amazing. It's really, really fast. And uh, they set the courts up. It's basically a half, a, half of a tennis court. So um, take a look at some of these highlights. We also got some uh, great shots uh, for, with Joyride the other day as we circled over the pickleball championships here in Indian Wells. Hi, we have one of the players here. Hi, what's your name? Hey, I'm Ashley Roberts. What's going on? Where are you from? I am from Simi Valley, California. Okay. I'm playing mixed doubles today. All right. Yeah. Tell me about what the ball is like. All right, so we're playing with the Dura 40. Uh, it's, I think it's the best ball for tournaments. Uh, it produces great speed. You can get great putaways. So we love the Dura 40. So is this your first time here at Indian Wells Tennis Garden? This is. In fact, I'm very impressed with this venue. I had no idea that all the pickleball courts were going to be individually gated and it be this spacious. This is a fantastic venue. So you've never been to the tennis? No, I've never been to the tennis. I've heard about it, but I've never physically been here. We've been searching somebody that's never been here. When we walked in today, Alex said, boy, the people who see the view... Oh, um, it's, it's just, absolutely it, tremendous. I mean, it's just like, wow, this is this is this is pickable heaven right here. Well, your your friends told me you were the number one seed. Is that correct? Absolutely, I am. See? <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at that. Third shot. That's hit you. Custom, custom graphics, you name it. All custom made. Oh, I can crush the ball. <laughs> I'm a good tennis player, but I've never played pickleball. There is always room for pickleball. I'm, we're we're going to get you out there. I'm going to start now that it's in my neighborhood. <laughs> and what's your name, sir? Conrad. Conrad. I'm going to find Conrad, and he, he and I are going to be playing afterwards. I will. <laughs> I so. Thanks, honey. Second server. Hey, here we are at center court for the pickleball championship. This is where the championships will be played. The crowds are, will pick up. This is the first real competitive day uh, for the sport report. For Alex Negron, I'm Conrad Negron. Everybody check it out. Hey, who's that? You're, you're taking a, a snooze? We are in the sun on this beautiful day at the National Pickleball Championships. Mini Wells Tennis Garden. How sweet it is. So this is Pickleball Central. They're giving demonstrations on what the pickleball is like, how to hit it. We've got some great merchandise. And this is going to be a great time. Crowds are starting to get big. And uh, this is going to be going on for the next eight days or so. So come on down. Watch yourselves some pickleball. We're here at Pickleball Central with John. John, what's going on? It's what, the second day? Second day. Um, it's exciting. Lots of people coming through. And uh, they're looking at, have you ever seen a pickleball? No. Wow, it's, it's not that heavy. No, it's uh, lighter than a tennis ball. Um, it's made of plastic. This is rotationally molded, so it's one piece, and then they drill the holes in. These holes were designed by an aeronautical engineer from Boeing. Really? And they patented that design, so it really helps it in the wind. It's a ball made only for pickleball. 
Only for pickleball. Only the sport report can get these type of interviews. John, where are you from? I'm from Seattle, Washington. Where is that? Uh, that's a little north of here where... Um, we have that thing that you guys don't see a lot of, that rain stuff. Yeah, we have a little bit of that. So is this your first time here at Indian Wells in the tennis gardens? Oh, it is the first time, and uh, walked in, blew me away. Pickleball has never seen anything quite like this. No. Well, we, you guys have saw the helicopter shots we took yesterday of the pickleball courts. And how many are there? Are They look like there's about 14 or 15. Uh, there's a few more than that. We're up to like uh, 30, 40 courts here oh, really? uh, to handle this tournament. Plus, you've got the stadium court. That's the largest stadium court that we've had in the sport to pickleball so this is a fantastic place to host this sport well i'll tell you we're breaking out sports tourism is booming as the coachella sports and entertainment stadium authority keep bringing you and covering all the events john thanks for your time good luck this week uh my pleasure we're enjoying it thanks for having it pickleball central live today indian wells tennis gardens everybody stay tuned Hey, we're at the Sport Report at the main central at Stadium One. We just found these ladies posing for pictures. Um, you guys are models from where? Uh, from Scottsdale, Arizona. Scottsdale, Arizona. <laughs> they, they, you notice that they went with the models, okay? Um, good, good, good. What, is this your first time here? Yes, yeah. first time. Yep. We're yep. very it's excited gorgeous, to be here. Isn't it? Yes, I am. Thank you. Well, <laughs> 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 you got me. That was good. That was good. Oh, see, when the first time they come here, they, they have to separate between gorgeous and pretty. <laughs> Um, do you guys playing or just see, watching? Uh, watching today, playing tomorrow. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm playing today and tomorrow. All right. Yeah. How long have you been playing pickleball? About a year. About a year, a little over a year. Mm -hmm. yeah. did, you ever, did you ever play tennis? No. So Soccer. Got, Soccer. That doesn't count. It doesn't count. It doesn't count. <laughs> Softball <laughs> might count. A little hand eye. So are you any good? Y yes. I'm Absolutely. A, we're, we're a 4-0. She's a 4-5. Really? So is 5-0 the highest ranking? Like uh, tennis? No, 6. 6. six. six. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that's a different system than... Um, it's pretty fancy. Pretty fancy. Yeah. All right, you guys have fun. Where are you guys staying out here for the rest of the week? We found Airbnb places to yeah, stay. Yeah, right down the street, five minutes away. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Great. That's thanks for thanks for uh, hanging out with me. Thank you got another joke? Because you guys are models, <laughs> models, models. Thank you for uh, picking us. <laughs> you guys be good. Have fun Thank and good luck. Too. Enjoy Thank yourself. Okay. Sexy man. <laughs> what brand is this? Fear the pickle, baby. Fear the pickle. The kind of new edgy clothing brand we're trying to come out with. Um, make the pickleball court your coliseum and you become the gladiator, baby. I love trying it. Trying to bring the youth into it. Wow, what a day. We talked to a few people that just have never been here before. And uh, like we said earlier, Alex was like, wow, what an absolutely gorgeous November day for the United Nationals. People coming from all over the country to play pickleball. They've got over 35 courts, and the crowds are amazing. They've got uh, lots of displays. We played with the pickleball. It looks like a, I don't know, a miniature um, wiffle ball. But uh, everybody saw it. Everybody, thanks for tuning in. Come on down. The rest of the week, they'll be playing the championships this coming Saturday. they got one of the biggest stadium pickleball courts in the world. For Alex Negron, I'm Conrad Negron. Thanks for tuning in to the Sport Report. That was pretty fun. That it? was. That was, it was a blast. It was, it was so warm. You know, I thought we'd go out there and possibly get a little cool. But uh, pickleball is, you know, we, we, we talked about the ball. You saw that. It was engineered by an aeronautical engineer, and they made it solid, and then they drilled the holes. I, I, I didn't know that. Yeah, it was, it was interesting. It was, Reminded me of, whiff, of a wiffle ball. Mine a little bit of a wiffle ball. Of course, the holes were bigger in wiffle ball. But I, a friend, I talked to a friend of mine. He says, what's pickleball? He goes, like paddle tennis? I said, no. The wood and the tennis ball is paddle tennis. 
But this is um, ping pong on steroids. Would we go that? We go that far? <laughs> I don't <laughs> it's know. A combination. And you know pickleball. I heard this where they got the name pickleball. Please tell me. The the creator of pickleball had a dog named Pickles, Pick- and he would chase the ball, and the dog would go chase the ball and bring it back. So he came up with pickleball. I don't know how I that coordinated have to say with that's the game. It's just a horrible story. And it's, it's true. That's, I, it it's, is true. I, <laughs> I don't make things up. Well, you know, we met a guy in the parking <laughs> like lot when we were leaving that they had uh, the guy, this lady, his wife's a referee. Um, that, uh, pickleball's been around for 50 years. I've known of pickleball for about 10 because I, I played a lot of tennis. And um, I really got, I, as you saw in the video there, that was some great rallies. And the people yeah. are. I mean, I'm kind of looking forward to it. I think I can hit the ball hard, you know? Yeah, I want to play again. I played it once before, about right, 10 well, years I ago. I think you and I need to get out there. And They had all the equipment. I might actually um, I might buy a paddle just in case Scott Alvarez wants to go out there one of these days. Because, you know, we'll crush, we'll crush Coach Miller. He's not ready for us in pickleball, you know? I don't think he's ready for pickleball. But anyway, what else is going on? I was going to say some news uh, in the golf world. Uh, Career Builder, which has been out here as a sponsor at a PGA Tour event for the last, I believe, three, four years, yeah. has uh, decided not to be a sponsor. So they're changing the name to the Desert Classic. Wow. Uh, however, they're still responsible because they have a one year you know, left on their contract. So they will still be like a 5.7 million purse for the players. But it's a great opportunity to look and have uh, and, and expand on what they're doing and bring a good sponsor here for you know, a golf tournament that has been out here for so long. I got an idea. It's just, it's just I got an idea. And I got a name for it. The Bob Hope. How about that? There we, there we go. Bob the Bob Hope, Hope Classic. The Bob or the, Hope Classic. Or the Bob Hope Coyote Classic. Well, now you're talking. Now we're back in business. I think <laughs> that maybe the Coyote Classic, which is going <laughs> down at Indian Springs on December 7th. That's a Friday. Get your spots in really quickly. Contact. Uh, we're on, check out our Facebook page. Uh, check out this this feed and go to the SoCal Coyotes. Uh, come out and help. Uh, you know we are a nonprofit. Again, all our hats off to the Big Rock Pub. They do a <laughs> sensational job. Uh, last year was really fun. We played with Mayor Mike Wilson. We had so much fun. You know, I talked. I told Mike afterward. You know, the, he teed off, and we got the, um, the f- uh, photographers. Coach Lori, Lori Beth um, was out there, <laughs> and he almost killed her. I he, mean, he almost he, knocked her he, down. You always say in golf, a ground ball to third is not a good. Yeah, shot, he so. pulled one foul. <laughs> he, pulled, he pulled one foul. So that was fun. We had a lot of fun. Uh, we're, we're look. We're working on a couple of uh, hole in one prizes. We're shooting for a golf cart and maybe an appearance on the Sport Report to. Some of the many few. In fact, you know what we'll do is we will film out there that day. We will play, and um, I think we'll probably win it again. Why not? <laughs> we didn't win it last year. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> we were horrible. And, you know, the re- I think the reason was you. You said you, had a, you, you knew how to play golf. Don't go there. <laughs> Don't go there. <laughs> <laughs> we're having too much fun. There's so many things going on. Uh, we've got um, November 15th. Indio Middle School. Uh, we invite everybody to come and check out the Above the Line curriculum, award winning <coughs> curriculum. And you're going to start hearing more news um, as the next couple months uh, uh, come out. If you need to, try to get a hold of Ron Grande, Senior Vice President of the SoCal Coyotes. He does uh, endless hours of uh, commitment. Again, this Saturday, we've got the Bianca Ray Foundation. It's an all day event. Everybody come on out there and, and, and celebrate. Um, for these, some of these young, young, young kids, young boys uh, in need, which a lot of people are in need. And the SoCal Coyotes are doing some great things. Uh, Dominic, again, I look for Dominic Houghton's article to um, story about him uh, coming out, I think, in the next few days. When I sneak into the media center, they don't really let me take stuff out of there. So I'm giving everybody a heads up before Coach Miller sees this. Hmm. You know, we don't want to get there. But again, go big, go home. Now, last night... I went to uh, the the view and shots in the dark. It was Indian Wells residence night at um, you know at the view. I invite everybody to come out there. I'm going to show you a clip here, real quick, uh, from something NBC News did last week. We want to show it again. You know, it's funny as you watch news clips, you never see them twice because yeah. that's tonight's news, and a lot of people sometimes don't see it. So I'd like to show. Um, Take a look at this. It was absolutely amazing. I'll tell you what happened last night, but take a look at this quick clip. 
uh, over at the, and, and Steve Rosen did an unbelievable job last night catering. Food was free. It was just amazing. Check this out. A golf experience unlike any other is opening in Indian Wells tomorrow, and I got an exclusive sneak peek. You have to see it to believe it. A new after dark golf experience. Shots in the night. Nothing exists certainly in the valley like this. And to our, from our knowledge, nothing exists like this at all anywhere to this extent. Golf games you can't play until after sunset. Lasers, TVs, music, people having fun. Food and beverage, of course, from our truck, and then our glow range as well. The glow golf range features 12 hitting stalls, including seating and table service. The putting experience powered by Netlinks features seven greens and rented by up to six guests. Six different games that can be played. You have everything from golf darts to golf shuffleboard to golf beer pong. Like a bowling alley, a kiosk is used to fill in the names in your group, select a game, and the lasers automatically start. Shots in the night came to be simply by ideas and what ifs. This was a collaboration of our whole team here at the Indian Wells Golf Resort and Next Links, and the idea was have it be golf centric, have it be fun, and then also have it at a, a point in time at night when golf typically stops. All ages and skill levels are welcomed. From families to golfers, really appeals to both. You don't have to be good, you just have to be able to have fun. Go ahead. That was good, huh? <laughs> Last night, they did a, a Steve Rosen, you saw in the clip there, they put on for the residents of Indian Wells, and they had food, pasta, taco, tacos, I had two tacos, and um, uh, pasta, salads, hors d'oeuvres, ice cream. Uh, they had a little uh, a bar set up for coffee, tea, water, soda. And um, they did a great job. But everybody got to play the next links. I took a couple of couple little putts. It's really fun. It's really different. <laughs> you, get, you can go four to six people on a green. The total for one hour is $40. So, you know, that divides up to whatever you want to divide 40 by into six. It's not that expensive to go out and have a lot of fun. And uh, you can play different games. So, Please, I invite. Like I said, you you never you never see news clips twice. That's why I played. I played it last week, and I might play it again next week because that's something that's going on here in this Coachella Valley. Well, and, I'm a uh, little bummed that uh, I I was fortunate to get to play golf yesterday at a beautiful right. day at Indian Wells Golf Resort. The course was just immaculate. The greens were slow because they just opened. And as I was coming down, you know, uh, I see them setting up, and I heard they were having this big event. And I left. And you left. <laughs> I left. I was sore. <laughs> I was sore. Hey, look what golf takes out of you if, you, if you if you're not ready to play golf, just like playing football or baseball or pickleball. So that's next. We are going to cover pickleball uh, at the end in, in a couple of days for next week's show. We want to see how sports tourism, the epitome of sports tourism, which is brought to you by the Coachella Sports and Entertainment Stadium Authority. You've been listening to the Sport Report. Conrad Negron for Alex Negron. Again, this is your Shield of Dreams production. Uh, stay tuned. Like us on Facebook. Everybody uh, get ready for next week. Again, uh, this Saturday at, at uh, Palm Valley School, Bianca Ray Foundation, Joyride's going to drop a, um, a uh, uh, football drop, helicopter drop. In fact, uh, we're going we're gonna to tune out, and I'm going to show you uh, that little uh, scene again of uh, Joyride. So, Everybody, thanks for uh, tuning in. We'll see you next week on Sport Report. And go vote today. Go vote today. At the Indian Wells Tennis Gardens for the first annual U.S. All right, Sport Report out here at Joyride, Palm Springs. Christopher Cheek, wow, we just had a great ride of the valley. <laughs> What's happening? Not much.
people up to Big Bear. So you guys could go big be up to Big Bear, get you there in like 15 minutes, zip line for two to three hours, have lunch at the Peppercorn, bring you back, back home within 12 minutes. Another uh, fun adventure is we'll take you out to Lake Paris and you can try your thing at uh, skydiving. We land the same, same place that uh, Tom Cruise uh, learned how to parachute. We'll land you there. You do parachuting for the day. And <laughs> We've been taking a lot of people up to the winery, land them in the parking lot to Mecla, spend a day at the winery, then we'll come back and pick you up VIP. So our next big adventure uh, that we're working on is a landing pad out at Joshua Tree. So right next to Joshua Tree, about 100 yards away from the gate, we'll land the helicopter for you and your guests. We just bought a brand new Mercedes uh, Sprinter van, holds 12 people. We'll take you for a tour of the park, have lunch maybe at Pappy and Harriet's, back here, back on the casinos, gambling, shopping, whatever you want to do. We can joyride all over.